even though amphibians are classified as tetrapods, and most tetrapods live primarily on land. One could argue that amphibians never fully adapted to terrestrial environments. They can use that S-shaped movement of their vertebral column to move through water just as they can use it to move along land. Most amphibians lay their eggs in water. Most amphibian larvae are aquatic, whether these tadpoles here or these salamander larvae. Most need to keep their skin moist so that they can breathe through it. Many possess uh, gills as larvae, and many must return to aquatic environments to mate, so that mating is external and fertilization of eggs is external to the body of the female and occurs in an aquatic environment, as seen here in these salamanders or in these toads, which have returned to an aquatic environment to mate and lay their eggs. As a result, it could be argued that the adaptation to terrestrial environments from an aquatic lifestyle can occur in stages, and that the first amphibians, and that most modern amphibians, are not completely adapted to land, but still depend on aquatic environments like their aquatic ancestors.